What's going on, beer tubers? It's Eric back at you with yet another beer review. And as if you may have not noticed, I'm kind of a f uh, fanatic of the Goza style ale lately. I brewed one. Um, I'm a big fan of the Westbrook. So today I thought we'd look at the Goza Gone Wild, which is the remixed version of the Westbrook Goza. And it looks like they just took traditional Westbrook Goza and um, added two different types of Britannomyces yeast strains and dry hopped it with Amarillo and Citra. So as you can see, it pre-pours out that, you know, hazy, um, goes, saison, um, Belgian single. It looks, it looks like there's some salt and some wheat. So nice head. Let's get the nose. Oh, wow. Uh, really perplexing nose. I get almost this, uh, candied hops and, uh, Brett Funk is definitely there. There's some lemon lactic acidity present. But really, I'm getting two different strains of Brett, and I want to say one of them has to be Bruxelles Trois. I'm getting those tropical fruit notes, some of that stone fruit. Just really, actually, quite strange smelling, um, given how much I like Westbrook goes. So let's uh, give it a shot and see how she goes. See what I did there? Oh my. Yeah, um, haven't not had a can since I brewed my own, and now having this, um, it just shows how much work I really need to do in the souring department of my Goza. Um, I did use lactobacillus, and uh, you'll see in a Homebrew Wednesday beer review, or update, uh, what I think and what's wrong with it and where it can improve, but yeah, wow. Well, Wow, quite sour. A lot of amarillo hops come through. A lot of tropical fruits, some peachness. Um, citra, not so much. Uh, there is some of that dank, um, typical citra note. Think zombie dust uh, toned down by about 100. Uh, yeah, just a lot of Brett funk. A lot of Brett funk coming through, a lot of uh, Brett fruitiness coming through. Um, really nice take on the style. I don't really get much of the salt or the briny quality. It's really good. I don't know if I'd so much call it a Goza versus just a American Wild Ale at this point. Um, I guess German style sour wheat. Hmm. Well. I'm definitely getting a lot of that barnyard funk, that horse blanket, that uh, just chewy, you know, think of like a mustiness from a barn. Wet hay. There's a lot of funk in this, and this is awesome. Um, I was only able to pick up one bottle, and uh, I'm definitely on the lookout for more. This is great stuff. Um, like I said, not exactly a Goza, but a really interesting take on funking up or fucking up a Goza in a good way. Excuse the beer hiccup. Yep, well, I think enough has been said, enough has been commented on. I think if you like uh, sour style ales, Berliner Weiss, Lambic, Goza, um, any of those Flanders styles, I think you'll have a soft spot in your heart for this because there is a nice sour note. Um, but it, it, it creeps on being tart versus actual sour, but that's just me. And with that said, I've arrived to a score, and I think it's awesome stuff. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 96 out of 100. The only flaw I can find in this beer is I wish that some of the um, salt would come through. It's really dominated by the dry hopping of the Amarillo and the Citra, which are really fruitful, tropical hops, and that's that's fine. And the funk of the Britannomyces kind of overtakes most of that salt and coriander note. So, um, yeah, awesome stuff. A+. Plus. Definitely worth seeking out. Definitely worth $9.99 a bottle. Goes gone wild. Girls gone wild. 
There she goes, and we'll see you in the next beer review. Cheers. It's pretty awesome, dude. You should check it out. Oh, shit, we're still recording?